Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's The Greatness and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a 3D rendering in Photoshop. Uh, what we're going to be using is a render method called ray tracing. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So the first thing that you need though is um, some text or a logo or a shape. Um, something that you're going to be creating a 3D render of. Uh, so I have this little logo uh, dealio that I made. And what I'm going to do is right click and hit new 3D extrusion from selected layer. And this is going to create a really low res image like you see here. Um, the next thing that you want to do is um, figure out how you want this to be laid out. Um, so using the tools up above, you can kind of um, adjust it and create it. Uh, move things around to where you want them. Um, if you go into GFX copy, you can take out the shadows or add the shadows. Um, adjust the extrusion depth so you can make it really deep or pretty shallow. Um, for this, I'm going to just reset it. Keep it at 456. That looks good. Um, and then the texture mapping, uh, you don't really have to worry about because you probably won't have a texture. Um, so yeah, you can do all sorts of funky stuff. Anyway, what you want to do is, so make your selections. And then what you want to do is um, come into your preferences. Go to 3D. And here is your ray tracer. Um, 10 is going to be, if you have a fast computer um, with you know, a good processor and a good graphics card, because I do believe this takes uh, video RAM, um, you're also going to need a lot of just regular default RAM uh, in order to make this quick. Uh, I would put this at 10 if you have a good computer. Um, if you have an OK computer, you're OK at 8. Um, I mean, you could do 10 if you have a bad computer, it's just going to take a longer time. So, for the sake of this, um, I'm just going to show you guys what it does here. So, I'm going to put this down to 3, and if you see, um, it's pretty, you can see it's pretty choppy right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hit this button right here, and this is our ray trace render. And we're going to get this blue um, grid that comes up. And it's just going to come over, and that was a level 3 render. So as you can see, it's much better, but it's still nowhere near perfect. So I'm going to hit Command-Alt-Z to undo that. And so let's say that I'm still playing around. I'm still making adjustments. Um, now that I know that it will look good where it is with a render, I can bump this up to, say, 9. And I'm going to let this run, and I will fast-forward through this um, so you guys can watch, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, YouTube, now you can see that my ray trace rendering is done, and it looks a lot better. Um, there are some weird things where this wasn't curved before and it kind of is curved now. Um, that's just the way uh, the rendering works. Um, I, I don't know enough about it to explain that to you, but I mean, it does look very, very crisp. Um, it looks really good in my opinion. So uh, that is ray trace rendering. Uh, remember, Photoshop Preferences 3D is where you can adjust your uh, rendering uh, kind of settings here. So um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next